Hey guys, what is up? It's Max, and we have Christian there. We just got these new cards. It's the MSI RX 480, 4 gig with the DDR5. Uh, we're upgrading one of our rigs, and we decided to make a little quick video on this. And yeah, these are supposed to be the new series for the Radeon or AMD, right? So, Polaris. 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 So, yeah, these are pretty cool. They have LEDs, so I don't know if we're going to really need them because we're not really here and this is not meant for gaming. We're actually mining Zcash at the moment. And yeah, this one's actually VR ready. So, if anybody's interested in gaming with VR, this is like top-notch game card and then let me show you right now this is where we had the old R370 cards that we did last time and these are the risers USB and yeah and then we're gonna do a little quick unboxing so you can see what's inside the box it's a freaking mess here in the room Howdy there. So I'm gonna have Chris take over right now. Hey everyone. So, following the intro, we're looking at the MSI RX 480 Gaming X Edition. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what it has to offer on the inside. Pretty uh, sturdy construction to go off with you. And it's around around. Touches on the box are actually pretty nice. Uh, you can see pretty uh, intense graphic right there. And the best part of it all, very basic flip top. Don't really have to deal with a <clears throat> with any of those annoying stickers. Very intuitive design. Pull it out. Set the main lid over. And quick little topper here. This one we might fucking oh we might skip the, this part here, but <clears throat> as expected, quick little quick start guide, actually a quick start poster, multi-language poster, and your driver disc. So that's the contents of the topper right there. <clears throat> Moving on to the rest of the card. Set aside the foam and you have a warranty reminder. Standard anti static bag, a little bit of a kind of expected setup for a brand new card. Once you get this out of here, we're going to do a quick little work around ports are on board, what power connectors are there, and whatnot. Alright, so first things first, you see, uh, kind of obvious, but remove this before gaming. Uh, if the fan, basically, if the fans aren't spinning, it actually warns you, or gives you a heads up, that these fans are auto-controlled and will ramp up as needed. So that's part of the reason why this super obvious warning is there. So that you don't try to RMA these just because the fan is not spinning. Going along the sides, uh, we can see, or rather the si front side, uh, you have your two standard uh, dual fan exhaust. Now keep in mind this is a big departure from the RX 480 reference cards which had that blower fan or that blower exhaust. Uh, kind of annoying. I found it kind of annoying on the R9 290s, so that kind of limited some, some placements, but anyway. <clears throat> going along the top side, you have a head set of heat pipes. <clears throat> go 
going along the plug area, the input area, you have two display ports, two HDMIs, and one DVI-D. <clears throat> and going along the back, we have, actually let me spin it around, a pretty cool design. So you actually have this little dragon design on there. And I'm pretty sure all this little uh, dimpling over here is going to help for the, uh, the heat control right there. And lastly, the only side we haven't looked at is the front side. As you can see, the heat pipes are connecting deep from the top all the way onto this radiator. Pretty good uh, heat control. And lastly, you do need a 6 plus 2 power input on your PSU for this car. That's a quick little run around, a run, quick little overview of the MSI Gaming X1 RX480 4GB card. Well, thank everybody for joining us for this quick unboxing of the MSI RX480 Gaming X 4 gigabyte G, uh, GPU. Be sure to check out all our other videos regarding crypto mining and other up-to-date tech information at techlifeinstock.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be on top of all the newest investments in the cryptocurrency world, as well as other things you might find of interest. Thanks for watching.